The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over a many quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, t'was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I'd wished the morrow, vainly I'd sought to borrow from my books or cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden, whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here, for evermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now it stilled the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, Th this is it and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, I said, or oh, madam, truly your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I was scarce sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is someone at my little lattice, let me see then what there it is, and this mystery explore, let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore, tis the wind and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mind of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore, though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore tell me what thy lordly name is on this night's plutonian shore quoth the raven never more much i marvel this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly though its answer little meaning little relevancy bore for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being was ever yet blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door bird or beast upon a sculptured bust above his chamber door with such a name as never more but the raven sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour nothing further than he uttered not a feather than he fluttered till i scarcely more than mothered other friends have flown before on the morrow he will leave me as my hopes have flown before and the bird said never more Startled, the stillness broken by a reply so aptly spoken, doubtless, I said. What it does is his only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster, till his songs one burden bore, till the dredges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never, never more. But the raven, still beguiling all my sad fancy into smiling, straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what its grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned in my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining with my head at ease, reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloated o'er, she shall press <laughs> nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from some unseen censer, 
Swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tuffled floor. Wretch, I cried, thy goth hath lent thee, by the angels he hath sent thee. Respite, respite and nepenthe for my memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh quaff this kind nepenthe and forget this lost Lenore, quoth the raven. Nevermore. Prophet, I said, think of evil. Prophet still, if bird nor devil, whether temper sent he, the tempest toss he there ashore, desolate, yet all undaunted on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted. Tell me truly, I implore. Is there balm in gleaded? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, think of evil. If prophet still a bird or devil by the heaven that bends above us, by the god we both adore, tell this sorrow with sorrow laden. If within the distant a dean it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore, clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign and parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of the lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted nevermore.